Club Express, Managing Menus. Your website menus control how website visitors and members will navigate your site. It can include links to Club Express modules you've enabled on your website, custom pages you've created, photo albums, and external links. Your Club Express website allows you to create different menus for public website visitors and logged in members, and even separate menus for different member types. Club Express also supports submenus and mega menus to help condense more extensive website menus and group custom pages. And organizations using the Club Express mobile app can configure a special mobile app menu. This video discusses how to configure and manage various menus on your website. To learn how to edit the look and feel of your website menu, watch our tutorial, Template Builder. Before you begin building your menu online, we suggest creating an outline for your website content first. This is called an information architecture. Your plan will help you better understand the content you'll need to place on your menus and submenus, plus how you'll want to group items. As a general rule, we recommend you keep your top-level menu to seven or fewer items to ensure your menu stays within a single line and is manageable for your visitors. To save space, consider combining items into submenus and mega menus. Before diving in, let's take a look at a few different menu examples. On the public side of the website, before we sign in as a member, we see the public menu. This menu includes links to custom pages with club history and the benefits module, so visitors can see the benefits of joining the club. And other features still available to non-members, like donations, the event calendar, and the club storefront and contacts. Once we sign in as a member, we see a different menu with more links to modules and pages intended for members only. When we log into our mobile app, we can see the same member menu we saw on our club's desktop website, plus a mobile app menu with quick options for mobile app users, like chat and meets. When navigating to a custom page, we see a separate menu grouping links to similar pages. We're signed in as an administrator, so we'll click the control panel link at the top of our screen and navigate to the website tab. In the setup section, click menus. The menus page contains either three or four menu options, depending on whether your organization is using the Club Express mobile app. Menus, which are your website's top level menus. Submenus, which contain both submenus and mega menus. A submenu is a group of individual items, like custom pages and modules. A mega menu is a group of submenus that all appear in a single panel. Submenus and mega menus are not displayed independently and must be added to a top level menu. However, submenus can be added to custom pages. We'll discuss that later. If your organization uses the mobile app, you'll see a mobile app menu to define for your users. And external menu links are used to link to other websites and pages outside your Club Express website. Depending on the complexity of your menu, you may want to begin by defining your submenus first, followed by mega menus, so each item is ready to add to your top level menu. Let's start by creating a submenu for general information about our club. We'll eventually add this submenu to the top level public menu. Click the Add Submenu button. First, name your menu. The submenu name will appear on the menu so make sure your website visitors will recognize it. We aren't configuring a mega menu right now, so we'll skip that option. Finally, choose the items from the list of available menu items you want to add to the submenu. We'll add a few custom pages and modules using the left and right arrows or double-clicking an item. Click Save when you're finished. Let's add a mega menu next. Mega menus are a collection of submenus and are used to group items and keep your top level menu smaller. We'll create a mega menu to group our member only options. If we used a submenu, it would be long and members might have difficulty finding what they need. First, we'll create the individual submenus we plan to use, applying the previously discussed steps. Here, we've added a few already. Then, Click the Add Submenu button. Name your menu, 
and this time, check the box designating it as a Mega Menu. You'll see the options in the window change, and you'll only be able to add other submenus to the Mega Menu. We'll select the Member options, then click Save. Next, we'll explore our top level menus and add our new submenu and mega menu. Right now, we have two default top level menus one for public website visitors and one for logged in members. You can only have one default public and one default member menu at a time, and you must have at least a public menu on your website. If you only have a public menu, all website visitors, including logged in members, will see the default public menu. First, let's add our submenu for non members to our public menu. Click the pencil icon to edit the menu. Then, you can filter the list of items only to show submenus and choose the submenu we just created. The submenu got added to the end of our top level menu, so we'll also use the arrows to move the menu item where we want it. Before we move on, notice the checkboxes at the top of the screen. We only have two menus, and the other is our default member menu, so we can only change this menu's visibility once we add at least one additional top-level menu. Click Save to save your changes. We'll add our Mega Menu to the default member menu in the same way, by clicking the Edit icon and selecting the Mega Menu from the list and moving it to the right side. Note that changes to website menus, submenus, and mega menus are live on your website as soon as you click Save. And when you modify a submenu or mega menu, those changes are also applied automatically wherever the menu is used. Remember, if you change the public menu, you must sign out to view the changes. By default, all member types use the menu you designate as the member menu. You can also add menus for different member types and link them to the member type. For example, you might have separate menus for an admin or volunteer member type or for tiered member types. Let's add a separate menu for gold level members. Click Add Menu to add a new menu. First, name your menu. This name won't be visible on the front end of your website. This menu won't be our default public menu, and it won't be the default member menu since we're only using it for one member type, so we won't check any boxes. Finally, we'll add all the options available on our default member menu, including the mega menu, plus additional modules and pages gold members can access, like discussion forums and the resource scheduler. In this example, we added the items to a submenu so logged in members can easily find the features and to make it easy to find the items later if we need to make changes. Click Save to save your changes. Next, we'll link the menu we created to the appropriate member type. Navigate back to the Control Panel, People tab. In the Setup section, click Member Types. Find the member type and click the Edit icon. On the Add Edit Member Type screen, find the option to choose the website menu. Choose the appropriate menu from the list, then click Save. When members of that type log in, the system will recognize them and they'll see the specific menu created for them. Note, however, that non-Gold members might still be able to access functions available only to Gold members if you place a link on the home page or a custom page to one of these functions. Use caution with this feature if you really need to limit access to special features and functions. Let's return to the menu screen and look at our final menu options. For clubs and associations using the Club Express mobile app, you can configure a quick access menu with helpful icons to display in the app. Learn more about the mobile app menu in our tutorial, Mobile App for Administrators. Finally, your website menus and submenus can include links to external websites or custom calendar and storefront links. For detailed instructions on creating a custom calendar or storefront link, search for either term in our online help system, help.clubexpress.com. Let's add an external link. Click the Add External Link button. Enter a link name, the text to appear on the menu, and the link address. 
Then choose where the link opens. If you're linking to a page on your website, for example, a custom calendar, it's best practice to open the link in the same window. If you're linking to a page on another website, you'll want to open the page in a new browser tab. Click Save to save your changes. From here, you can add the link to any submenu or mega menu or any top level menu. You can also add links to features on your website which aren't ordinarily available in the menu builder. For example, you might have an admin member type for your website administrators and create a special menu with links to common admin functions, like the People Manager or Blast emailings. To create this menu type, copy and paste links to the functions you want to add and create external links for each. We've created links to the People Manager, Blast emailings, and the Product Manager screen for our club storefront. Next, we'll add all the links to a new submenu. From here, you can create a new menu for the admin member type and add the standard menu options plus the admin submenu. Then, you'll associate the special menu with the member type. As mentioned, you can add submenus to custom pages to group like items. Here's an example we've set up already. On our top level menu, we'll click the link labeled Summer Fly-In. The link takes us to a custom page with general details about the event. We also see a menu with links to past fly-in events. To create a set of pages with a submenu, you'll first want to create the individual pages. Be sure to check out our tutorial, Managing Custom Pages. Note that you don't need to add content to your pages at this stage. In this example, we have a landing page or the page we want the user to visit to access the remaining pages and pages for each event. We'll navigate back to our menus and create a new submenu with the pages. Finally, using the submenu widget in the custom page builder, you'll add the submenu to each custom page. Remember, submenus will update independently when you add and remove content, so you won't need to return to each custom page to manage the menu. You'll only need to make changes from the main menus page. So now you've learned how to manage your website menus, create and manage submenus and mega menus, and create custom menus for special member types. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.